Uh, what happened is that um, the insurgents of um, uh, al-Shabaab, who have now claimed responsibility for this attack, um, uh, sent a car bomb uh, to the main entrance of the parliament building, and then gunmen, some of whom may have been wearing suicide uh, vests, uh, subsequently attacked. Uh, there was a firefight going on between uh, the African Union forces, um, who are led by Uganda and Burundi and a number of other countries, uh, who are protecting the Somali government. They then intervened, and they say they've brought the situation under control. But uh, at least eight bodies have been seen uh, with uniforms on. It's not possible to say whether they were al-Shabaab fighters or the government army, because they both wear the same uniforms, yeah, sure. unfortunately. Um as far as these attacks there, they are pretty common, so you would have thought that they would have been on high alert. Yeah, well look, I've been to Somalia three times in the past uh, six uh, months or so, and every single day that I was there, I was with the African Union forces, every single day I was there, there was some sort of an incident. Not a big attack like this attack on Parliament, uh, but in February there was an attack on the presidential palace, for example. There, they, Al Shabaab can hit almost at will against the African Union forces and the Somali national government uh, uh, and the Somali national army. Um, that doesn't mean that al-Shabaab are winning. Uh, the African Union have in the last few years uh, moved forward into taking a number of garrison towns. They've taken the town of Kismayo in the south, they've taken Baidoa in the north and they've pushed al-Shabaab out of the capital Mogadishu. But this is asymmetric warfare. Al-Shabaab can attack more or less at will.